Now I got the hearts. We heart the 90s. If I move. Now she has the hearts. Now. I got the hearts. <laughs> we can't have it at the same time. I don't know. Maybe if you come move your head towards me. No, we can't. That's rude. Aww. Well, it's just going to go from her to me. <laughs> big business agency. Hello. Hello, big business agency. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Aww. <laughs> Hope you're having a good Saturday. Yeah. Hopefully you're relaxing. Yeah, it's very relaxing here in VA. Very chill. The weather is beautiful. It does not feel like summer. It feels like a nice fall day. And we thank God for it. It yes. feels beautiful out. But thank you for coming in. Um, we, the theme of this live is 90s nostalgia. So we're talking all things 90s. Yeah. But it won't be like a super, super long live. Be short and sweet. That's, That's good. good. That's good. Glad to hear it. Yeah, and then speaking of summer, we will be going into fall soon. So are you ready for the fall? Because it's like, this month is actually flying, July. And, it is. And then you got August. And then boom, the fall. I can't believe that we're going to be going into like, what, the second week of July? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like we just started it. Right. I'm here with y'all. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for fall though. Like fall and spring is like our favorite um seasons. Summer and winter. Oh, you like, love the fall too? Yeah, it's nice. We we can pass for hello, Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle. We're gonna be talking all things '90s. Oh, <laughs> it's like we have like the uh daylight savings. Yeah, that's the only thing that I. It's really tough for me to adjust right. to. Because um, you're losing that hour of sleep. Right, the days are shorter. Yeah, and it's like, especially like in the winter time, it is so hard to get up and it's cold. Yeah. And like, you know, during the night you're like all nice and nestled in your blanket. Yeah. Like, oh, it's hard to get but up. it's good soup weather, though. Sorry, we're laughing at the hearts, because like I said, we're, let's roll them claws back and keep it that way. Well, it's what Christy. Yeah. But you know, the other thing too, what I like about fall is like, um, like the comfort food. And then also, um, for us, the fair and like the fair food, the, uh, the funnel cake, the candied apples, right. the hay rods, all that kind of stuff. Right. I like that. And I see Oh, you get an extra hour of sleep? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you well, lose an hour when uh for the summer. Okay, the I got it reversed. Yeah. But it's hard for me to get up. That's the thing though. I don't know what it is. Right. But um I also like the fall because they have good T V shows and movies, I think, that come out. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but they have like a lot of good and then like a lot of shows. I like Abbott Elementary, Christy and I do. Yeah, that's so funny. Hopefully for the fall they bring a new season. <clears throat> but um hi special k hi special k that's what i want to say k i love it <laughs> we're gonna be talking all things 90s so you want to get into it now yeah let's get started oh thank you thank you thank you thank you a lot of great talented artists yeah that we've been able to get art from mm-hmm Almighty Afro Adventures. This is his work right here. Yep. Please follow him on IG. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll get started. So, we grew up in the 90s. And, you know, we love all things 90s. I think that that was a good era. That's just me. Um, so, I guess to start off, what are the 90s known for? The shows. Yeah, best shows were back then. Right. So, movies, anime, TV shows, yeah, um, reality shows. They had good reality shows back in the 90s. So, one of my favorite, I had so many, but one of my favorite TV shows in particular from the 90s. That's so hard. I have so many, but I'm just going to say Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, Yeah, we're going to get into the music too. Um. But Courage the Cowardly Dog was like one of my favorite <clears throat> shows growing up in the 90s. And 
my dad, he would sit there and watch it with me. So it made it extra special. And I don't know. I just feel like the storylines for oh, like yes, Family Matters, yeah, Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince, yes. I just feel like the storylines for the '90s were just better written. I don't know. You want to add into that, Marshalls? Yeah, Doug. Yep. TLC. Yes, yes. That was our that was our group back then too. Yeah. Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Um, for me, as far as the shows, um, what was that show? Um. Dang, I'm trying to think of it now. The one with the uh, with uh, Bob and um oh reboot yeah reboot yeah. we liked that show back in the day that was that was our that was our thing and like especially like the Saturday morning cartoons yeah like the the Crypt Keeper the animated series that was really good um what else there was so many and so we many. there's um Hello Mobcast Mafia Hi, HBO Mobcast. Max. We were, uh, yeah, Cousin Skeeter was really yeah. good. We loved our dad, like, watching it with us. But HBO Max has some, um, you know, some of the shows we grew up watching. Because we had, like, we were reminiscing because Space Ghost Coast to Coast. That was, like, one of our favorite shows. Hello, Digital Hampton Road. Hello, Digital Hampton DJs. Road. We were watching Space Ghost Coast to Coast on HBO Max. And it's just funny because it's, like, we would be excited because on the weekends, because <clears throat> we were in school during that time. So... During the weekends, we could stay up late. And Space Coast, Coast to Coast, uh, y'all, the Don't Swim lineup back in the day was just was better. There was nothing that could compare to it. Right. So when that would come on, I think Space Coast, Coast to Coast came on. Um, sorry, I'm so 90s. Y'all are into my era. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Johnny Bravo yeah. was a classic. But we would stay up late. Um, that show, Space Coast Coast Coast, would come up like come on at one in the morning, I think. And I'm like, now I can't do that. For staying up there. No, like at ten o'clock, I'm starting to nod off now. Like I've gotten so old. <laughs> but yeah, we. And when, how can I forget the X Files? Yeah, she was an X Files cup. That was our thing. We used to watch that show with our dad every Friday night. He used to look forward to that with us. That was and fun. then, um, too, the lineup. Hello, Junie. Hello. Um, what was it? Sn what was it? Nickelodeon late at night, too. What do they call it? The Snick? They call it Snick or something. I can't remember. Nick at night? No, not Nick at night. That was the classic shows. Oh. But they would but show. That was good, too. Yeah, that was good. But late at night, they would show, um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? All that. Takamochi. Hello. Um, we're talking all things 90s. Yeah. We're talking shows now. Yeah, reminiscent. So they had, like I said, uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? All that. <coughs> Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. Oh, does anybody remember the Roundhouse? Does anybody remember that? I remember. If you do, you're an OG. And then, <coughs> what was the other one, though? The one, you remember the one with the, they were fighting. Goosebumps. Was, yeah, yes. Goosebumps was good, too. But what was that one on Nickelodeon? It was like the cave or something. It was like, remember, it was like a tomb or something. It was a game you would play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Legend of the Tomb something. Yes. And, yeah. And then Wild and Crazy Kid. Yeah. But, uh, was it Legend of the Tomb something? They, I, I read up on it. I heard they had brought it back a couple of years ago. Made it, like, more adult. Why didn't they announce that? I wouldn't watch it. I don't that. know, but it didn't do good, though. Well, they didn't tell anybody. <laughs> like, what the hell? How are yeah. you gonna bring something back? Don't tell anybody. They'd be like, I don't know why it didn't do well. Yeah, Legend of the Hidden Temple. Thank yes, you. Thank you. But, yeah, that, they had brought that back, though, a couple of years ago, but it, I don't think it did any good. Wow, she's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow, she's good. We're old. I don't know why people be like, oh my God, y'all know about that? I'm like, we're old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are old. It's, um, But yeah, the TV shows back then, also, if y'all have uh, Netflix, they got Keenan and Kel on there and all that, original all mm -hmm. that on there. So, and um, I'm trying to think too, what those, because there was so many good 90s shows. Yeah, the Mortal Kombat cartoon was good too. Yes. Um, Just in general, when the first yeah. Mortal Kombat movie came out, that was good. No, um, add 10 more years, Junie. <laughs> I'll be 37 tomorrow, Lord willing. Yeah, her birthday is tomorrow. She'll be 37. I'm 30. Y'all are doing good. <laughs> But yeah, they, mm. I don't know. They just and then also to another thing that brings back going back to shows. We got other topics, but I'm thinking like with Seven Eleven, um, with Ninja this, Turtles, yes. yeah, Ninja Turtles, um, 
Y'all remember the cartoon Street Sharks? Street Sharks, <laughs> at Earthworm Gym, all that, Freakazoid. I remember our, Freakazoid. yeah, we, we used to live close by to a 7-Eleven. So when those shows were about to be coming on, our dad would take us to 7-Eleven. We would get a Slurpee and then we would get like some Dorito. Or like the nachos. <laughs> the nachos. 7-Eleven was like the hangout spot in the 90s. Yes. Hi, auntie. How are you enjoying BlurCon? Hope you're having a good time. Yeah, hope you and Logan are having fun. Hi, fried chopsticks. Well, yeah, he would Hello, take fried chopsticks. He would take us to get the Slurpee. I was just trying to find a logo for Street Sharks. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, Auntie. Hi, Auntie. The logo for yeah, Street Sharks was the show. But yeah, we would get our um Slurpees, our Doritos, like Chris said, nachos. <laughs> and speaking of nachos, it's awesome. Glad to hear that you're having fun. Yay! Yay! Fun, fun, fun. And thank you for posting so we can see all your experiences. Mm -hmm. We want to see more pictures and videos. Yes, yes. Well, glad to hear that you're having fun. Um, But nachos, beeps and bunhead, 90s. So yeah, that was a really good show. And it's crazy because we weren't allowed to watch it when we were younger. We would sneak it. Yeah, we would sneak watching Beavis and Butthead and how our parents found out about our brother, you know, was mimicking what they were saying. And then she's like, y'all are supposed to be watching this show. Hi, Heart. Hi, Hi Hyrule. She's like, how do you know about this? And then, uh, did you snitch on them? You're like, Kenneth was, was watching Beavis and Butthead, Mom. Yeah, I made it like he was doing it. <laughs> no, it, so we wouldn't get in trouble. Yeah, you know, we were sitting there watching it with him, but she's like, Y'all ain't supposed to be watching it. I'm like, All right, so you want to bring it there, bro? I'm gonna throw you under the bus. But I'm like, This though, over you. we weren't supposed to be watching that, but y'all know they're on um, Rocco's Modern Life and Ren and Stimpy, even though they had an adult version for Ren and Stimpy, even the Nickelodeon version was not for children. It definitely was. It definitely, yes. For language. <laughs> And like the uh, innuendos yes. that were used in there, I was like, "Wow!" Like looking at it now as an adult, I'm like, "We had no business watching." That. Rocco wasn't either. That was not for kids. So I was like, yeah, so he was like a sex operator on one episode, <laughs> and his neighbor called in. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, so you can't sit there and say, "Yeah, those nice." <laughs> <laughs> no, they definitely weren't. But they were so well written, though. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> do y'all remember the Ren and Stimpy video game? Do y'all remember playing the Ren and Stimpy video game? And also, yes. the, yeah, mm -hmm. we do. Yep, we used to stitch and be like, oh, he was watching this. We would kind of use it as leverage, right? Like and we would blackmail each other. Also, cause speaking of MTV, if I don't know if y'all remember, do y'all remember Cartoon Sushi? Because that used to come on MTV. That was not for kids. Cartoon yeah. sushi. It was like adult stuff. Like car it was cartoons, obviously for adults. But yeah, we used to sneak and watch that. And like, Daria. Dar. Yeah, Daria. Yeah, that was our show, Daria. You know, do you think that they could possibly do a reboot of Daria? You think that it would be good? I would say the only way that it would work is if they got the original people right. to you know write the reboot of that. Right. Like the writers. The directors, the executive producers, whatever. Right. It'd have to all be them. Because whenever they bring somebody, like, a whole new team to do it, for some reason it just doesn't, it doesn't go over well for the uh, people that were, you know, that liked it, the original fandom. Right. It doesn't ever work. Because they, because, um, they're <coughs> saying that, um, Jody, the character on Daria, this was a couple of years ago, they were saying they are going to do, like, a, a spinoff and, ha and you know, it was going to be about Jody, but it's like... Didn't happen. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sailor, Sailor Moon. Moon. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes, yeah, Sailor Moon, definitely. Memories right there. Um, Like Christy and I always say, like, our first anime was My Neighbor Totoro, but Sailor Moon is, like, what started. Really? I knew the guy. Yeah! Woo! That yeah, is so cool. that is so cool. Uh, yeah, Christy, had, you had a big crush on Trent, didn't you? Yeah, like, I was like, when I was, like, back in the day, I was like, I'm gonna get a boyfriend just like Trent. He's so hot. <laughs> he just was laid back and stuff. Yeah, he was like, Daria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trent was laid back. The characters on Daria were funny. Then the the one up Chuck, the perverted guy, to be trying to get with all the girls. Oh, that guy was creepy. He was a creeper. <laughs> 
It's like people like that, you know, there's always a guy like that in school. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, Just Daria. Running. Daria was hilarious. And Daria, I, I love that show. Daria, definitely, what was your first 90s video game? I don't really remember. I guess was this? It would have to be Super Mario. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it. Yeah, probably Mario. Because that was, like, the first, like, game system that we had, like, growing up was, like, the uh, Nintendo's NES. Mm-hmm. We had that. And then after Super Mario, it was Donkey Kong. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers. Yup. Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong. Um, I remember you had the X-Men. We would play the X-Men game. Yeah, that game was hard. It Did was anybody hard. ever, like, beat that game, like, you know, in this room? Because, like, we were, like, trying to. Yeah, because there was a level with Storm on there. Hi, Frenchie. Hi, Frenchie. I remember it was a level with Storm. She was, like, in the water, and it was, like, piranhas that you had to avoid. I remember they that. Made, they made those levels, like, impossible to beat. I can't believe you're almost my age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um... Oh, yeah, zombies ate my neighbors. Nope. Yeah, um, yeah, because we were gonna we were gonna talk about technology. I I did with TNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. We're not sure, Frenchie, what you're talking. Frenchie, about. what's TNT? But um, thank you, thank you. But yeah, we could feel very good. <laughs> we could be talking forever about shows, like. But I, I guess now we'll move on to music. So. Oh yeah, he said yep. Okay, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know. Okay, so what are we talking about now? We're gonna talk about music because shows. We be on there forever for shows, but we're gonna talk about music. But then we're gonna come back to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That makes you think about something. Or did you want to mention it, though? Hi, One Piece. Did you want to mention it real quick? Oh, well, just with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like, I'm just going to say, like, my favorite food is pizza. And that's what I always, like, thought about with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was pizza. And I'm going to say, back in the 90s, Pizza Hut was doing their thing. I'm just going to say that. They were. Like, that was, like, for me, that was, like, the pizza of choice was Pizza Hut. Nobody was messing with them. The crust was, like, buttery and crispy. Yeah, because I used to like the little book it things for uh, elementary school. Yeah, I would I would read up some books to get that little coupon mm -hmm. so I can go get me a free personal the, pan. Yeah, the personal pan pizzas was delicious. Yeah. Um, Mega, Mega Man. Man. Yeah, I, yeah, we did watch the Mega Man anime. Yes. Yep, we remember that. Yep. He's cute, Mega Man. Resident Evil. The first skit. Yeah, I remember the first Resident Evil. Um... We kind of it's okay. We're kind of jumping around, but it's okay. <laughs> I remember what was it Game Pro? I think Game Pro magazines. If y'all remember that, I think, and they would send um yeah we had a subscription yeah we had a subscription for Game Pro. They would send us like the demo disc for up and coming video games that would come out, and um we had one of the demo discs that had Resident Evil on there, and I remember the very first Silent Hill. It gave us a demo, yes. and that that scared the crap out of us playing the demo of um Silent Hill. <sighs> I feel like Silent Hill and Resident Evil, like, those, like, set, like, the, for me, like, the precedent for all the other, like, mm -hmm. horror video games that are out now. I feel the same way, too. But, I mean, I know there were other ones before them. I'm just saying for, like, for our generation. Right. I feel like that's, that was, like, the precedent, but. Right. I. Yes. It we love those games. Creeped us out that demo disc, because we were playing. I'm like, oh! <laughs> like, I feel like the Resident Evil movies were done pretty well. I mean, I don't know a whole bunch about, like, the backstories of the characters, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I feel like they did those pretty well. Like, the Silent Hill, the first one was pretty good, but they were, like, um, you know, like, the thing that they changed, like, I didn't like that they changed it to, like, the mom looking for the daughter. Like, why didn't they just keep consistent with, like, the storyline? Right. Because they had, yeah, that's... Cause we're we love Silent Hill. I was like, oh my god, we sound like fangirls. But it's like, I, like you already yeah, got the like story. Criticizing. Sorry, but it's like you got the storyline, which is perfect, you know. But it's like just follow the storyline. And I mean, you could add your own things in there. But I'm like, okay, the game. It was a dad looking for his kid. Right. You know what I mean? So I just, I don't know. I guess they were trying to get you to connect more because it's a mom right. and everything like that. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry guys. So we're ranting. We're <laughs> so we are on to music. <clears throat> so yes, the nineties 
uh, had some really good music. Hello and hi, Ab. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. A.B. Abdul? A.B. Abdul. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Sorry if we said your name wrong. We're talking all things 90s. We're talking about 90s music. Yes. So, like I said, 90s had some really good music. Like, especially like techno um, was really, really, really big in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And one of the songs, we still be listening to um, 90s music, but one of the songs that I really love, that, that, that Blue Man song or the Blue song, mm -hmm. that came out in the 90s, right? Yeah, that was like our jail. <laughs> Cause I don't know, like the, the, the music back then just made you happy. Yeah. But it was just timeless. Yeah, it was timeless. Well, she wanted to add. Um I can't remember the name of the group now. If anybody does like shout it out in the comments or chat. But anybody remember, you know that song was like Group is in the heart. I like that song. That was like my jam back in the day. And like that used to always be on the radio. Um, of course, the Spice Girls. We love the Spice Girls. That's is this 90s that want to be my lover? Won't you be? My... I think. <laughs> da, da, de, da, yeah, da, da, da. that's that's what you. Um, what was it? Something what was it? Um, that one pump. Up the gym, yeah. Pump up. Not like that. Yeah, that, that was that was good. They like had that. some, yeah. They really had some good music that it just made you happy. And I'm then, just like this: if you're looking for like good like workout playlist music, you need to go put add like some '90s music. That gets you motivated. Yeah, we we went to um, GalaxyCon this past March. They had like a '90s party, dance party. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And then they were playing the Power Rangers theme song. We were like, yeah. Yeah, like that was just like rock. Like, yeah. So it's just like, okay, I gotta do my headbanger thing. Like, yeah, 90s R&B was good. Oh, gosh. very, very good. We like, yeah, Brian McKnight. <laughs> Brian McKnight was doing his thing back then. Like, I love the song. Cause one. Oh, yeah. Like, like a, a dream come, come true. true. <laughs> By the light. Like, yes, yes, I don't know. Yes. That's the group. I could remember them, but yes. That yeah, was made group. you happy. Like I don't know the music. Just I don't know. What was, it was another song from the, in the '90s. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of trying to think. It was one of me. You always be singing. If it comes to me, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, that song. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm like, but yeah, they just had like I don't know. It was better. It was just better music. It was just cheerful. Um, it was all part of the house. To, yes. House music. Yes. 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 Um. <coughs> that was, I'm trying to think. Even like the like the theme songs from the nineties, like TV shows from like the theme songs are like they really, just were really well written, right? And it's like yes, I remember that. Oh, I love it. Yes, and you still remember, you still remember the lyrics, right? Things like that. Oh yeah, of course, Brandy. Of course, you love Brandy. Yeah, Brandy. Brandy and Monica. Um, yes, we loved our NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears, Christina, Amber. Hammer, yes. Yep. You know, I I I will, I now want some of the hammer pants. Mm -hmm. I'll wear those. You can get them off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. I I can't dance as good as he could, but I could try to attempt the way he. Was and we didn't even know Adam's family. Yes. Yeah, we didn't know that um MC Hammer had a TV show. Hi, whole whole season. Hello. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I'm sorry. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, we didn't we didn't know that MC Hammer had a TV show <coughs> for kids. We was like, what? Because we was looking yeah. at some YouTube videos. And he had a TV show. We didn't know that. Captain Planet, too. Yeah, Captain about Planet. Captain Planet. Yeah, the parachute pants. Those are some yeah. comfy looking pants. Yeah, because I'm like, you know, like, especially just lounging around at the house or if you're trying to go do a, a um errand real quick. Yeah, be comfortable. Just run in and out and do what you got to do. <laughs> and speaking of, like, with 90s, like I said, it's funny you know, like the Walkmans and things, and I and there was an article I saw, like oh, yeah, and the CD player. The CD play. I was gonna say they had an article saying that like a lot of people were starting to buy CD players again. So I don't know if it's for the nostalgia, but I'm like, yeah, it's crazy because you know we had Walkmans and CD players, and then we had MP3 players. So hi, CJ. Hello, CJ. So I don't well. I guess for CD players, I like them. I thought I was doing something when I finally got one, but it just sucked. Like, you couldn't move. 
Cause yeah, because it it's like yeah. you just go like to step and it just would like, skip, and you're like, oh my god, I just missed the part of the lyrics, right? Or whatever. But I we used to love going to like the music stores, like Sam Goody mm-hmm. and all those, and you know how they used to have like the little things. Hey, hey Amy. Amy, how are you doing? Mm-hmm. Um, and you would be able to listen to some of the uh, tapes. Yes, mixtape. <laughs> Yeah, we made mixtapes. And BK Music, that was another show we yes, used to go. Yeah. Yes, loved it. Paige. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that, that, wow. That really takes us back. But yeah, we used to sit there and think we would, and the radio, like, we love the radio. That's good to hear, Eni, that you're doing good. We're glad you're doing okay. Glad to hear it. Listen to the radio was like a big thing. Like we would stay having the radio on. Like our favorite station was Q ninety four. Back in the day. That's good. Yeah. Glad that you're having fun. You go Eni. Yeah. Take plenty of pictures. Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to meet up at a con. Yeah. I hope so. Leave a message with the music playing in the background. <laughs> 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 yeah. But it's just because I remember we had an art teacher. Um, this is um when I was in elementary school, she would put the radio on. So we're like, can we hear the radio? We want a K ninety four, and we we used to think we was doing something. This was like in fifth grade, and you know, I can't remember when I was in fifth grade what was what song was like popular. Hey, Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. But yeah, they just. They just had better music back then. That's all I can say. Like, sometimes Christy and I, like, YouTube, we would just type in, like, 90s R&B playlists or 90s rock. Like, yeah. And we would just, like, uh, color. Yeah, and that color. That was, like, I mean, and then also, you remember, like, the, uh, like, when, like, the internet first started and you had, like, the, the dress-up doll game <laughs> that you'd be playing? Yeah, we're gonna go to it. Oh. We're gonna jump. Sorry. Ah! All right. it's, it's, yeah, hopefully one day Amy will meet up. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Party line. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just so much fun. But we could be, we could be on music for a long time. But, um, I know. It's too, it's too many. It's too many, just like with the shows. But now we're going to go to food from the 90s. So... I, I think they still are making it, but I remember growing up like with the microwavable meals, the kid the kid cuisine with the penguin. Oh, that was my joint. I used to like the uh, chocolate brownie. Yeah, that was my <laughs> and the macaroni and cheese yeah. was good too. And I know they I know they still make it. Like Hot Pockets has been around for a minute, but just for you know me growing up, Hot Pockets. Oh, <laughs> <Aww, laughs> so nice. Hot Pockets was a thing. Um, we would always want Hot Pockets. I want a Hot because I really like the pizza flavor. Yeah, the pizza. And then the, uh, the, what was it? The ham and, the ham and yeah. cheese was good. And then later on, the steak and cheese one. Yeah. And, and the had, hamburger one. Yeah, they had one with barbecue sauce in that it. That was good, too. Um, But as far as, like, snack stuff. Hello, One Piece. Hi, One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, far as snacks, like, you met, we're, uh, we used to live near a video store called Video 2000, and you remember the um, alien pops? Those were so fun. Yeah. They were shaped like big alien heads, and they had these crazy flavors. Yeah. They were so good. Mm -hmm. They were really, really good. I I wish they still made those. They had alien pops, and then, I guess, for like when Easter came around, they had egg pops, I think. They pretty much was the same flavor as the alien pop, but it was shaped like an egg. They were really, really good. And then... I remember, uh, well, you kind of, you already talked about, but, like, the pizza back then. Pizza Hut was really, really good back in the day. Pizza Hut was, like, number one choice. And it yeah. was, like, pretty much at least one Friday in the month, you you had pizza. And it probably was Pizza Hut. Right. And, and I was so excited about the stuffed crust pizza when they had that, when they introduced it. And, like, we were saying, hey, the other guy. Hey, the other guy. We, like I said, they had that little book program, the reading program when we were in school. We, and you know, when you, I think you read like what a certain amount of books or something, you could get a free pizza, what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So we made sure, cause it was like, we want our free pizza. <laughs> yeah. But also too, another thing too, was something else with snack. Oh yeah. This was gross. I don't, I don't know. I think, I don't know if this did come out in the nineties, but the oatmeal with the dinosaur eggs. Yeah. That was just like, yeah. Ew. Cause there are some, <laughs> yeah, there were some snacks. I'm just like, why? Like. And I remember 
to like the um it was like I know the fruit gushers, but I remember growing up too, um, one of my brother's friends, she had um I don't know where she got from, but they're Dragon Ball Z fruit gushers or something their shit like the really? character. Yeah. And we're doing good. We're How doing are you? Good. She had the fruit gushers with the Dragon Ball Z characters. She had a crush on Cell. And she had a Cell fruit gusher. She's like, here's my boyfriend. Well, you're about to you're about to devour him right now. <laughs> like he was doing to everyone else. <laughs> yeah. But you, know, but you know, the other thing though, I'm this is just okay. So I'm just gonna say <clears throat> I was envious because like, you know, his his like uh quads. I'm like, okay, who who has quads like that? Like I was just like jealous. <laughs> like, quad game. And his glutes. It's like I'm trying to get glutes like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he did. No, who really their quad game. I know we're kinda of skipping was the rabbit from Juni Tyson. <laughs> I know. I'm what? like, okay, what is your program? Because I'm trying to get on and get get yeah, my quads the like quads that. was it's like, whoa, what you doing? How many squats do you do? Like 2,000 a day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yes, Pop-Tarts. Yeah, pop- we still love Pop-Tarts to this day, too. Yeah, Pop-Tarts was a thing. Like, oh, my God. Um, um, fa- My favorite Pop-Tart, it's, even when I was, like, a little kid, was the cherry flavor. And I love the apple cinnamon. Hi, Wumbo. Wumbo. Hello. Hello. Yes, yeah, so it was gangster. He was. I like the cinnamon <laughs> sugar, cinnamon brown sugar. Yeah, that like kind that too. One. Yeah. That's... I like that one. But they have one that's like a waffle flavor now, and that's like our favorite one now. Yeah, if y'all haven't tried the waffle flavor, uh, we highly recommend you do. And make Mom. sure that you toast it. You toast it, it tastes even better. And yes. they have like the other kind of flavored ones, like where you can uh, put it in the uh, freezer. My favorite moment of Dragon Ball series when Go on Transformers Soup. Oh, nice. Okay. Thanks for sharing. I hate it. I love Cherry Pop Tarts. But they, they do, they have, like, there's some where you can put it, like, because they're, like, like Sunday flavored. You can put it in the freezer and it tastes really, really good. Mmm, that sounds tasty. Yes. But back <laughs> to the food, though, too. Like, um, the drinks. What was the one with the little... Bally thing. The other the orbits. Orbits. You yeah. Should, you used to be able to get it at Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven like always has like these really cool like different snacks. If you just yeah. go walking around the aisles, you'll find cool. We things. remember those. It was a beverage. They had like the little red. What were they made? What was that, anyways? I don't even know. I mean, like I guess the closest thing that they were to is like you know like the boba yeah. tea, but they're they were smaller than the little boba balls. Right, and it was like little they're about red. the size of like Tic Tacs. Yeah, it was like little red ball, but it was good though. Yes, yeah, s'mores pop tarts are good too. Yes, s'mores is good. I like to have mine's um in the toaster. I like mine's toasted. It was something else. Oh, you know what else was good in the nineties? The Sobe drinks. Yeah, with the um the little gecko on it. Yeah, yeah, those were good. Yeah, they and I'm trying to think of anything else because they like I said there were certain snacks that came out. Maybe it'll come to me if you guys, you know, can think of some. Oh, oh, oh! The, <clears throat> well, you, did you say the fruit roll ups? No, but thanks you for bringing it up. The though. fruit roll ups. Yeah, good. The fruit roll ups were really really popular. Like all the kids like that would bring their lunch would always have a fruit roll up. Yeah, and then like I said, the fruit gushers, and those probably been around longer too. The um fruit yogurt, yeah. Oh, what the fruit yogurt? What about fruit? I wasn't. It's weird because I like yogurt now, but like when I was younger, I didn't really really care for yogurt like that. I don't know. Well, okay, like the yogurt as far as that goes, it was like the more like the ones that had like the cookies or like candy in it. Oh yeah, that's what we used to like. Yeah, I didn't really. I don't know. I didn't really... And the Lunchables. Yeah, Lunchables was very, very big. Um, If you had a Lunchable, they had the high Tinky Birds, Tinky especially Bird. the pizza flavor. We used to be thinking we were doing something when mm-hmm. we had the pizza flavored Lunchables. Landel, Mardabs, hi. hi. Hello. We're talking 90s food. Fruitopia. Fruitopia. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Fruitopia. Hi, Hi. Early Chaos. And then the cereals, too. They have, like, the specialty cereals. I'm trying to think, like, that. Hope you're doing was... well. <laughs> um, the cereal that I like, <clears throat> I don't really eat it no more now, but Smacks. 
With the frog oh, on there. Yeah. We used to tear up some smacks. But and then cookie crisp. But I don't really eat smacks that much no well, you more. You know what else I used to like? I used to like the um what was it? The something grams. Teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams was good. And then also no, it was a cereal too. It wasn't Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It was another one that had like graham crackers. Oh, in it. I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the name. I know what you're talking about though. I was afraid to drink sugar drink. Kept hearing bad things about it. Yeah, we used to tear up some Capri Suns. That was another thing that was popular. But then yeah. when that, um, you know, when it was showing like mold, we got into some. I was kind of like Ugh, grossed out of with Capri Suns. Yeah, <laughs> Golden Grams. Golden yes. Grams. That that was the joint back then. Yeah, you love Golden Grams. Um, Max was good. I Lucky don't, Charms. Yeah, Lucky Charms was a big favorite of ours. Smacks, Golden Grams, um, Life Cereal, the cinnamon one. Yeah, Life Cereal. I didn't really, Trick Cereal was okay, but I don't, to me, it didn't really have much flavor to it, Tricks. Yeah, Probably it's just like color, a, but not a lot of sugar. I think I, mean, I like we're black, it, we like sugar. I think I like to eat it dry more so than, you know, with milk in it, Trick Cereal. Golden yeah. Grams. Corn, corn Pops. Pop. Yeah, Corn yeah. Pops, we would tear up. And, of course, Frosted Flakes. <clears> like, we love some... Hi Tyrappy. Hi Tyrappy. How are you? We used to tear up some frosted flakes. Remember, um, remember Captain Crunch? Uh, and like Family Guy was making fun of it because it cuts yeah, the roof of your mouth. It does cut the roof of your mouth, <laughs> Captin' Crunch. It does. It's good though, but yeah, you always gonna be like, ow. And ow, cinnamon toast eating? crunch is good, but it gets soggy too fast. I wish they bring team Cheerios. I love Cheerios. The blueberry ones are really good. Yeah. That they make now. I never never liked Wheaties, but they was big in the nineties. Wheaties. That's true. I didn't really care for I Wheaties. I didn't either too. And um uh what was it? Raisin. Raisin brand gross. That was disgusting. I thought it looked like roaches. I was like, Ew, our, was our, our dad was like, a couple of years material. ago, he had bought some raisin brand. He didn't even eat it. It was sitting on the top of the fridge with dust on it. I I can't. I don't know. <laughs> it's a texture thing. Like when it gets soggy, I'm just like, no, I don't want it. No, it's like for me, it's gross. I can't. Yeah. I have to have like some crunch. Yeah, when it's too soggy, it's just like, e. <laughs> uh-uh. I can't. Yeah, well, a basketball player. Yup, we yeah. remember. Yup. Yeah. And like the kids, you know, they see it. So they're like, oh, well, if they don't want it, they eat it. I want some. I think they get strong too. But um, one more thing with food, and then we'll move on from here. But I don't know about y'all in y'all's area, but Burger King back in the day was delicious. Ooh, like, me. we <clears throat> we get them every now and then. Um, I don't know. I can't have your lump muffy. <laughs> I can't. What about the bubblegum candy? Yeah, I remember the bubblegum oh, candy. Yeah. Yes, we used to... We love bubblegum candy, but it was like you lost the flavor. It like the flavor loses. And so that quick one that me. had like the zebra on it. Yeah, I remember that. That too. was fun. I used to take all the gum in the pack and just chew it all at yes, once. Yes, we yep, we remember those. Um, but Burger King back in the day was so good. Like we get a thing every <clears> now and then, and it's just it's not the same. But our favorites back in the day was of course the Whopper. The chick, the original chicken sandwich. Hello, Mr. Hood Hi. 15. Hello. And their french fries were so good. Yeah, they, they were, were so always good. crispy and salted to Perfect. perfection. Yes. The Whoppers were always good. The chicken, original chicken sandwich. Yes. I don't know what happened to them, but we did. Like, we love Burger King. Candy Lady was popping. Candy Lady? What is that? Who's Candy Lady? Is that a is that <laughs> is that like a is that a, a a brand of candy? You make me think about that game Candyland. I used to play the crap out of that board game back in the day. Like we used to always play that with our Excuse mom me. and our dad. Yeah, but um, I guess we will go to fashion mm -hmm. of the nineties. So. Fashion in the 90s was really, really nice. And it's like... He said, y'all never had... Oh, they said, y'all never had a candy lady? No, nah, what's a candy lady? Yeah, what is a candy lady? You mean like someone like at school that sells it? 
or like at I don't know. Yeah, I was wondering, was it a brand? No, someone a block that sold. No. Oh no, we never had. We that. had a when I was in high school, I knew a girl that would sell it, but no. Yeah, it's expensive. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, we it's ex, it's expensive now, but we used to love Burger King. They had the Burger King Kids Club that our mom signed us up for. So we would get like um like little magazines and it had like little games to play. Pops, candy, and soda. Yep. Yep. And speaking of which too, and we're gonna go to fashion after this, but one more thing, um <laughs> with soda. There, I can't remember that brand of soda, but they used to, when U-Crops was a store, remember that brand of soda? They used to have, like, pictures of people on it. They still have that. They thing. Still, they do? I don't even, what's, what's the brand name? I can't remember, because I've seen it somewhere. Yeah, I could have sworn I've seen it. Yeah, but they had, yeah, they had different flavors of soda. Like green apple. Yeah, and then, of course, like, bubble gum and cotton candy. It was really good. But I don't really, we don't really drink soda like that anymore, though. The only soda, like, we drink now is, like, ginger ale. And a yeah. Sprite, maybe, and that's it. We don't really really mess with soda anymore. Mainly, like, the clear ones. Yeah. Or, like, um... Every now and then, I may get, like, a taste for, like, um... Like, something with, like, some sugar in right. it. Like a, like a Fanta. I but used that's, like, a once in a blue moon type Right. Because, like, I used to... Candy Lane... Candy Lane made popsicle out of cool. Oh, okay. Oh, we used to love Kool-Aid, though. Yeah, that was another big thing that we used to love. <coughs> was to stay making Kool-Aid... But, and all the other soda that we used to drink a lot, too, when we were kids was uh, root beer. We used to like to make the root beer floats. And then they had the cream soda. The cream soda was really, really good. And then uh, we used to get a lot of grape soda. But, yeah. Yeah, we don't, we don't like the Sunkiss. I remember the orange, Sunkiss orange uh, drink I used to like. But I think we used to like it a lot more, too, because of Keenan and Kel. Yeah, when Kel kept talking about orange soda, we liked it Who so much more. orange soda? I love orange soda. Yeah, but now we don't really drink um soda like that anymore. But um I guess we will go to the fashion. So fashion was really, really interesting in the nineties. Well, it's interesting now that a lot of the fashion from the nineties is coming back, like the the baggy uh pants. And it's funny because they're talking about like millennials versus <coughs> like the generation Z. Cause it's like generation Z <laughs> like their pants uh more relaxed and a little bit baggy. And it's like millennials are still wearing like the skinny jeans. So it's like Generation Z is kind of like laughing at us millennials that we're still. <laughs> well, I got to say like, you know, when the skinny jeans first became a thing, like it took a minute for me to kind of get on with that because yeah. I was like, it's weird having it fit so like you know, tight around like the uh, ankle. Right. And it's just straight up. And I'm just like, I don't know. It just was weird to me. <clears throat> and felt. I just felt, I don't know, I felt like, like my feet, I felt like, because, you know, I have a size 10 foot, so I felt like my foot was going to look like a big sub sandwich. I know. Like, that's what I felt like. I was like, I thought my feet were going to look, like, super <laughs> big, but then after a while, you know, I started to appreciate the skinny jeans, but now, um, because before then was, like, the flare jeans, but I like flare jeans, um. They make you look, if anyone, like, especially for women, you want to look taller, elongated, get some flare jeans. Or if you want to, like, kind of, like, <clears throat> give yourself, like, more like a curve look. Right. The flare will, you know. Yeah. And, you know, accentuate that. Right. So, that's that's within now is the 90s, is the more baggier uh, pants. And then also, back in 92, like, the little, little micro mini skirts. But when I was little... I didn't, I used to wear, I remember wearing, I used to, I remember wearing a lot of the, um, the plaid cop button up shirts. Mm -hmm. I remember flannels. I, we used to wear a lot of flannels. I remember wearing those jeans. And then like tying them around your waist with like the baggy pants. Right. <laughs> but, but, but I remember, I don't remember having like baggy pants. Like for me, I remember our pants, for me, I remember it was like straight leg. It wasn't skinny, but it was straight leg. And I remember like the flannels. Um, oh, I don't know which one that you like their glasses, but uh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> hi. Hello. Hi, New Life Hello. Songs. Hello. I remember, I think, I don't know as far as shirts, if I can remember that far back, if it was like graphic, if we had like cute little graphics on it from my, from my memory. But I remember wearing a lot of flannels and like a straight leg. And then I know 
you know, I remember like the brands FUBU was very popular. Anybody remember FUBU? Please. Oh, yes. That was TLC. Yeah. Yeah. I used to love their, uh, I used to like to watch the music videos mm -hmm. and see how they were styled and right. things like that. Um, I don't know. It was just like, the fashion was just always just. It's just amazing. Yeah, I'm thinking, like I said, FUBU was popular back in the day. It was another brand. Baby, did Baby Fat come out? Maybe the late 90s Baby Fat. Late like 90s it. to early yeah, 2000s, baby, I want to say. Right, Baby Fat. Um, <sighs> Feelies was in and Rebox. Rebox yeah. and Feelies. Um, I'm trying to think what else. But yeah, a lot of that is, is back in style now, though, which is interesting. Um, some of it, I don't know, like the, the micro mini skirts, I don't know about wearing that, yeah. but, you know, but, um, like we'll leave that to the youngins. Right. <laughs> well, like the relaxed jeans fits, those are nice, but, um, also to like the, the stores, I remember the store Rave, remember Rave, they used to have some nice things and you can't, well, speaking of style, what magazine did you look in? I don't remember. I remember what what magazine was that? Remember it had like embarrassing stories in it, like the teen magazines? Oh yeah. I can't remember the <laughs> 17 name. Seventeen back then? That was a that was like the thing. Yeah. Top magazine. And then they had like all the different magazines. What was it? Was it I can't remember, was it Tiger Beat or something? And they had like the little like boy bands and stuff like that. Okay, that maybe the, that uh, was. The uh, I don't know. remember. I mean I remember we read magazines, but I don't remember the name, so it probably was seventeen and that. Um Jet Mag well Jet's been around for a long time. Yeah. Five, Five yeah. yeah. The Ooh. source, yeah. Yeah. Oh well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <coughs> but yeah, we used to get a lot of magazines. <laughs> um but yeah, I'm thinking, like I said, the store Rave had a lot of good fashion. And then I remember I was telling Christy today, um, the store, Claire's is still around, but y'all remember the store Icing that was similar to Claire's? Mm -hmm. That was really big um, back in the 90s. They had like the cutest like little earrings and bracelets and anklets. And then like the little, um, they call them the little rings, the bubble rings. They had a lot of cute things. The mood rings were mood, pretty fun, too. Right. Mood rings, mood jewelry. Yeah, they had all of that. And I told Christy I found them out. I, I looked them up online. So they icing is still around. One of them is in our state. It's like it's far out, though. They have it online. You can shop online. Where is it? Is it probably like Northern Virginia? It's, yeah, I think it is. I think it's Everything Northern. Everything always is out there. But we found out that they're, they're still around. But that was like a big store. And Christy had mentioned earlier... Um, Sam Goody, we love Sam Goody. That had like a lot of anime in there too, with you know, and then music as well. That was like a favorite of ours. <laughs> and then Suncoast. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Oh, Suncoast. Yes. So sad when they all went out of business. Right. That's where we used to get a lot of our anime back in the day was from Suncoast. They had manga there too. And of course Blockbuster. Blockbuster was was the thing. That was like the place to be, like on the weekend, yes. like Friday night. You probably were there with your parents, you know, getting your uh, favorite movies. Yes, this released on Our, on VHS. Video like, game. We gotta go get there. Right. Video Tower games. Records. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They. They. Yeah. It's. It was some good. Um, Oh yeah, I, I, I'm kind of like jumping around. I kind of think about food again. I know they're still here too, but. I was thinking about, um, what's the, uh, bullets. I just started thinking about them. Oh my God. We still have one. Okay. Here. Yeah. That was big. That was real big in the 90s for us. Like we used to love us. Um, bullets. Blockbuster. Yes. Hollywood video. Yeah. There, there was one here. Um, I don't know if they're still around. Cause you know, it's weird. Like sometimes like there are like those, like, like, I guess like obscure, like video stores, like still like around, but it's like. You know, everything now is like you can stream it. Right. So I'm just like, how are they like staying afloat? I'm right. Wondering. Yeah. And I was going to say trends too. Uh, for the 90s, I know too, like beauty trends, like the thin eyebrows were in like the arch. Yeah. And is that making a comeback? I mean, to be honest, I don't really know what the uh, eyebrow game is looking like i really don't because it's like i've seen all different types of eyebrows on like social media and things now right so i mean for me i would just like to have any type of eyebrow right i have very sickly thin eyebrows on the ends. 
<laughs> yeah, so I guess we won't. Then, and then, of course, Toys R Us, too. Yeah. I know I kind of. They're coming back, too. Right. Kind of skipping around. But I guess we will go to. Oh, wait. But you know what else, too? And this is just random. But like, like the toys and things back then. Um, <clears throat> like Barbie, of course. Like, you know, I don't know if Barbie is like as popular now with the children, but. We used to love different types of Barbies. Yeah, we had a lot of Barbies. Um, I wanted like a huge dollhouse when I was younger. You didn't get it? I didn't get it, but you know, I thought about getting it now for myself as an adult. I don't care. Yeah. I really just love like the Barbie huge dollhouses. Was, yeah, Barbie was the thing. <clears throat> we had a lot of um Barbies. But well, we could, we're kind of going into that anyway. So tech, we're going to talk about technology, which we kind of talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, we we mentioned about video um, games and all that, the Nintendo, but we also, you know, got a computer. I remember our dad had got us, and of course, you know, <laughs> it was big and clunky, dial-up internet, it was, you know, so it was slow, and it was funny. Mama D was going to be mad at me for telling this, but... <laughs> When we first got our computer and you know we had internet, it was dial up. You know how you remember that sound? And our mom, she goes and talks to the computer. She's like, Hello? And we're yeah, because it sounds like the phone, like a yeah. phone, you know, when it's like dialing up. Yeah, it's just like, like, mom. It's like, Mom, the internet's trying to connect. Stop. It's just like, Oh, I didn't know. It was funny. But it was fun because. You know, we, it's interesting because, like Christine, I was talking about the internet, um, especially for millennials, the internet is not that old when you really think about it. And, it's, you know, back then you didn't have, um, you know, social media. And then, of course, you know, I want to say thank you for being my friend. Oh, so sweet. You're so kind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, we didn't have, uh, we didn't, you know, then you had the chat rooms. So that was interesting. Christy and I were talking about that. Y'all remember AOL, uh, AIM, AOL Instant Messenger. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that, the Yahoo chat rooms. I don't know if it's just us, but I felt like it was fun, funner back then versus now with social. I don't know. I think so. Yeah. Um, wait, when did, was MySpace in the 2000s? Early, yeah, early 2000s. Okay. Yeah, early. But, you know, yeah, the chat rooms, AIM, that was fun. Yeah, and um, we had, I was telling Christy, we had maybe like three games on that computer that our dad got us. I remember Joe the Jungle. I used to play the <laughs> out of Joe the Jungle. And it was like, that wasn't that Mind Sweep or something, Mind Sweep. And then it was something, I think Checkers and Chess was on there or something. And, well, was Minecraft on there? My, that was a big thing back in the It might have been. It might have been, but I was obsessed with Jill the Jungle. I was terrible at Minecraft. <laughs> but, but, um, also, it was just funny. Like, the graphics, of course, weren't that good, but I don't know. It just was fun. But, too, like, with the technology, of course, like I said, think about the cell phones back in the day as well. We had, you know, like, the big one, and texting was... Crazy. Texting was almost like writing a dissertation. Yes. Because <laughs> especially like, you know, all the buttons are on one. And you yes. gotta keep clicking till you get to the one that you want. And yes. now you can just Texting was crazy. Our dad had a pay uh pager, beeper, whatever you want to call it. We had that. Yeah. Um Um I'm trying to think. One piece said Minesweep is the best. Minesweep. I never was good at it, but I've tried it. <laughs> And I'm thinking, uh, Chrissy had mentioned earlier too, like the games, that the dress up games. This is probably early 2000s, but we used to like the dress up games on the computer. They were really, really fun. Um, what do they call them? Like the Flash games or something? Yeah, Flash. Yeah. Like those, all of those were fun. And there was like this one website that I used to go to to play the different like dress up games. I think it was called dressupgames.com. That, and then yeah. it was another like a uh, game and they had like just different types of like, um, just different random types of games. But it was like one that I used to like and it had like a split screen and it would be like the same picture on each side, but there was something different in them. So you had to pick out the differences. And it had like this like really relaxing music playing as yeah. you're doing it. And I used to really like that. Well, game. you know, this could be 
this might have been early 2000s too. I don't remember the site, but oh yeah, y'all remember Axe Jeeves too. Y'all remember? <laughs> I know. And Lycos. Lycos, Axe Jeeves, Dog Pile. Yeah. Hi, Hi cute lady. Those those were the search engines, but Axe somebody some you know what we're gonna do a post about it. somebody please cosplay Jeeves. Please. Please, someone cosplay That'll make our day. That, oh my God. But it used to be so funny. Like, we used to love playing. I'm and not he playing, knew but everything. certain. He knew everything. Right. <laughs> but that that was a big memory. Hello, Majestic Hi. 1117. But there was a site. It probably was early 2000s, but um, I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, it was like, gave you facts for kids. It was like science and things like that. And it would tell you, like, about the human body. It was some other things it would tell you about. But it was, like, with the flash, it was interactive and all that. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of it, but Jeeves, Ask Jeeves, had suggested that site to me to go to. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And then also another thing, too. This, this I believe, this was 90s and then going to early 2000s. I don't know if y'all remember this website. I remember it. I don't even know if it's still around. I should mm -hmm. check to see. It was called Anime Turnpike. Oh, yeah. yeah. AnimeTurnpike.com. I don't know if y'all remember that, but it had everything in alphabetical order. It had anime from alphabetical order. You just click on it, and then it'll tell you about the anime, and then it'll have, like, a list of the characters from that anime and a description about that character. Like, that was really, really fun. That was kind of, like, I feel like the start of, like, maybe, like, not really, like, the stream for anime. Right. But just kind of, I guess, like, slart, starting to slowly ease you into the Right. Where it's just right at your fingertips, as opposed to you having to, like, if you have, like, a friend that can get the things, like, overseas, like, the, right. uh, you know, um, imports or whatever. But, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, those days... Majestic remembers the it. The term. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> I felt like we was the only ones. But yeah, it made Turnpike that. And then like the coloring books. We used to, back in the day, like the 90s, we used to uh, print out a lot of anime coloring pages. <laughs> yeah, those were fun. Because yeah. you couldn't find it like, you know, so right. easily like you can now. Because we have, you know, it was like the black and white picture. So we used to print out like a bunch of like Car Captor, uh, Sailor Moon, Magic Knight, Ray Earth, and just sit there in the house and color. And then, of course, like the colored images from anime, we would print out. Mama, our mom used to be mad at us. She's like, y'all wasting ink. Mm -hmm. Everything anime were like, yes. It was just, <laughs> it's just so much nostalgia. But, um, oh, far as technology too, like the, the, um, games, like, well, the Tamagotchi pets. Y'all, you kept killing yours. Stop! Because you, you got like a whole bunch of them. I think you had like two or three of them. Yeah, I used to have a lot of Tamagotchi pets. And you like would forget about them. They would die. They come back, respawn. And I'm like, and then I remember one time you had left one, that one that used to talk. Oh, yeah, it was in the couch. You left it. No, you had left it in the utility room. Oh, I did? Yeah, in our first house. Oh, you had left it in the utility room. And I was at the house by myself. And I kept hearing something yawn. I was like, <sighs> and I'm like, oh my god, what is that? I thought the house was haunted. And so I was like, where, what is that? And I'm like, and it's like, if it was a horror movie, I probably would have died. I'm sitting there trying to go find where it was. And then I go into the utility room at the house. And it's like sitting like somewhere like underneath something. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I admit I was not taking care of my little Tamagotchis, mm -hmm. but... We had plenty of those. Um, the Beanie Babies. Yeah, Beanie Babies was popular. Beanie Babies, the the little, um, the Furbies. Yeah. A lot of people I knew had Furbies. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to, the, the gel pens. Y'all remember the gel pens? That what about the Lisa Frank school supplies or whatever? It had like the different colors on it. Those. those were fun. The stickers and all that. Yeah, those were fun. And uh, and they had another thing too. I know a lot of people used to get them little coots. What do they call them? Coots coots balls or something. It was like a little. They're like jelly, and it was like a little ball. And they had spikes on them. Oh yeah, yeah a lot. And you could yeah. squeeze them. A lot of uh, girls that when I was in elementary school had those. Um, and book fairs. I used to always look forward yeah. to the book fair book when, I, when I was a kid. And, cool. and field day. Yeah, field day, field was, day fun. was fun. Um, I don't know. I can't really think. <laughs> I yeah, I can't. It, yeah, but I guess we'll move on from that. Um, 
and go into like the cosmetics. Now, this was 90s, so I couldn't really wear makeup, but my mom would let me wear the Lip Smackers gloss. If y'all remember Lip Smackers, and they had like pretty much every like scent, like strawberry, I think peach, and things like that. Grape was my favorite. Great, yeah. So I used to, we used <laughs> to think we was doing something like with the Lip Smackers gloss like i would put a whole bunch of that on and i used to like back in the day like um like well this was like the mid 90s then but i used to always like uh do like the the press on nails oh she had a press on nails <laughs> so i used to do like the press on nails and everything and um those were fun oh um but yeah i i don't know if you remember this but this it was a love's baby soft perfume yes that yeah smells so good that and they said it is still around. We it is. I'm gonna, I want to get some. Get smells some like a, yeah, it smells like a baby. A baby. So, that, you know, our mom would let us wear that type of perfume. I, I remember that. And I don't know if you remember this Teen Spirit deodorant. Yeah, I do remember Okay, that. so you used to use that? Yeah. I don't concede the night. I don't remember, I don't remember what age I was when I wore <laughs> deodorant, to be honest with you. Started wearing it. But yeah, Teen Spirit deodorant. And Noxzema. Cleansing cream, which was, I mean, it's still around, but that was really big in the 90s. And I remember using yeah. that. And that Noxzema was strong. But it, it smells so good. It's Yeah, your skin would be tingly. It was like a strong, I like, minty that smell. I feeling. I loved it. <laughs> was it eucalyptus scented or something? It was I a strong, or mint, but I don't know. But it was a it strong, a strong medicinal smell. Yeah, and your skin would be tingly. And... Yeah, I loved it though. Like I felt like it was doing its thing when I put it on my skin. Exactly. Because it was refreshing to put on your face. But that was like a really popular like for your skin. I mean, it's still I don't know. I mean, I think they still make it, but it's kinda hard to find though, because I don't really see much of it though. Hmm. Which is interesting. But that's really it because you know, nineties I wasn't really Hello Kenny. Hi, Hi Claude. We were talking about all things nineties. But that's pretty much far as cosmetics, because I, I couldn't wear makeup back then. Yeah, it was like... Oh, but you know another brand that was oh, really so big um, was Wet n' Wild. Wet n' Wild. In the 90s. The, uh, I know that sounds kind of like inappropriate. I know. But that was the name of the brand of the uh, makeup, the cosmetics. Like, they had all kinds of crazy lip colors and things like that. Well, you know what, too? We, we, you mentioned nails. We, we could paint our nails... Now, I, I forgot what <laughs> brand that we used to use to paint our nails, but I remember we used to have a lot of nail polish. Yeah. And I used to mix mix it. I would take other nail polish and, like, like I'm creating something. What in the world? I girl? did. You're like, Mom, she ruined my nail polish. You were always doing something. I didn't know. And, of course, Disney. Disney was, like, always the ish. It still is. But, you know, always love the Disney movies. But the other thing too I want to mention, as far as the cosmetics, Hello, Phantom Tiger. Um, this it's called Smell This. It was a perfume, and they had like the the fresh towel scent. Oh my god! Yeah, because uh, delicious. yeah, that smells so good, and you can't find it anymore. But that was you know big in the nineties. They had some other scents too, but fresh towels smelled really really good though. And the one that smelled like the beach. Yeah, they they, they had one smelled like the beach. Yeah, it smelled like the beach. Oh, it like um. I think it was called Beach, but it was, you know, it smelled like, it had like a little hint of like a, a little hint of like suntan lotion, but it wasn't like overpowering. And it just smelled like really like fresh and airy, like the ocean. It was, okay. oh my God. Well, wonderful. yeah, that was a really good perfume because it was like very subtle and light scent, but and it was cheap and it was cheap, but they don't make it anymore. But that was, you know, something we used to love to get, but, um, that's pretty much we had y'all know that we have our little gods we write down, but uh we covered everything as far as the nineties. I mean it's it's we could be talking about the nineties forever. We'd be on here all day, but um that's pretty much it. So we'll wrap things up and we thank you all that tuned in and those that, you know, shared your favorite memories from the nineties. This was fun. Um, maybe we might do another one from like a different decade. I don't know. Um but yeah, anything else you wanted to add? No, just thank you everybody that came in and we appreciate you guys. Hope you're having a great weekend. Yeah, being safe. And staying safe, staying healthy. Make sure to take care of yourself. Self-care is important. Yeah, but one thing before we go to, um, we do have an event coming up in October. October 15th, 
which is Creative Face, Creative Face, and it's going to be IG Live, and it's going to be a virtual. It's okay. It's though. okay. When you get a chance, you can look at the playback. It's okay. No worries. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming in to say hello. Thank you. Uh, and thank you. But um, we have an event on October 15th, which will be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on IG Live. And it's called Creative Face. And anyone, like if you're into makeup, like special effects, like face painting, or you just like you just like makeup, you just like to create different looks, we would love to have you. We have five slots available for anyone that would like to participate. So pretty much it's kind of like a fashion show, but you're just showing your face. So you will... It will be on our live and you'll come in and you can create whatever makeup look that you would like and you come in on live and you will showcase your face. So if anyone's interested, um, please DM us if you want more details or if you guys know anyone that you might think may be interested, please pass the information along because mm -hmm. we have five slots available. Yeah. So that will be on October 15th and, um, yeah, and we're taking um, you know, participation or participants till October tenth, right? Right. Yep. And so, October tenth, it close after that closes. Yeah. So yeah, but um, if y'all know anyone, please share. But yeah, uh, we guys hope that y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's weekend. And until next time, bye. bye.